Good morning, folks. Let's quickly update the CMEs off yesterday's solar eruptions before we get to today. Spectacular plasma leaving the corona. NASA and NOAA both agree with what your eyes may have been able to see yesterday. The bulk of the CME is heading away from Earth, about three months ahead in our orbital path. And it is indeed good it's not October, because if we were off to the right, there's a chance that dense portion could have hit us. Power, travel, and communications would likely have suffered. But alas, they will miss, and we're looking at a good deal of weather and space weather today. Turning our eyes first to the sun to see what's coming next, and over at spaceweathernews.com, we see the last day on our star. That big sunspot group is departing on the right, almost gone. Dark coronal holes and not as easily seen are the plasma filaments incoming over to the left. Some are still at the limb, while others have begun snaking their way onto the Earth-facing disk. These plasma structures in the corona are very large and are capable of releasing an eruptive fashion just like a sunspot. Solar flaring is on the decline and expected to continue declining as we're heading back towards a no sunspot situation. We did get one last little M flare as the group turned away. Almost didn't see that one go off another day. It would have been hidden completely. Solar wind is relatively calm as well. It is safe to say that the expected stream indeed sailed north of our planet and missed. It's off the coronal hole now departing the disk top right, so perhaps a miss north isn't wholly unexpected. The ones facing Earth now, however, are on the equator, and there's almost no chance of them missing us. Well, folks, this is Hawaii. The storm is barely tropical strength, dropping a significant amount of rainfall, however. Luckily, they are ready for it for the most part and should be getting lucky going forward as the West Coast High is going to strengthen, grow, and dominate the East Pacific quelling storm formation. There is indeed a storm in the West Pacific as well, but this one just got caught north of the turn line and will get pulled northward quickly over the coming day and a half. Rough weather continued in the U.S. as well, from the east all the way across to the northern end of the New Valley of the Sun. I took these shots as isolated thunderstorms rolled across Santa Fe last night, with the sun at the horizon, the rain was lit up beautifully, and lots of lightning. Tonight, it's that central low drawing a convergence southward off its eastern edge and wrapping across the country and connecting to a moisture flow off those hurricanes south of Mexico. Euro focus today is in the northwest. Rain bands coming from that low will affect a good portion of the islands with peripheral storms inland to the east. Rain lingers in New Zealand. But the bulk of that storm has passed. Another one will be developing tonight and heading at Tasmania tomorrow. Yesterday's podcast was a tremendous amount of fun. We hit the usual topics, plus some of the things we really don't have time for in these morning updates. Suspiciousobservers.org and earthchanges.org. If you somehow haven't been to either one, you can get completely caught up with more than a quarter million of us in a flash. It's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.